Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on installing uh, Simple Finance 1605. So for those of you that are out there and, and curious about S4 HANA, S4 HANA actually has two releases. So we have S4 HANA 1511, which is the simplification of pretty much all of ERP. And then we have uh, S4 HANA Financials, which is just a simplification of financials. Now, this, now S4 HANA Financials is actually an AMAP add-on for Enhanced Impact 8 on HANA. Um, so for those organizations that are looking to start their transformation, their digital transformation, and only looking to optimize or, or simplify finance, then you're probably looking at using uh, S4 HANA Financials. Now, the prior release was 1503. The new release is 1605. So today, I'm actually going to walk you through the maintenance planner on getting 1605 installed and all the options that you have to select because I did have some issues getting this done and I wanted to, to kind of share that experience. So first of all, you can see here that it says apply the latest notes of Solution Manager. Uh, that is absolutely correct. In your Solution Manager system, you need the latest notes installed, these two notes here. You need updated SLD, SLD content. You need to make sure your LMDB is correct. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and, uh, and sign in and, and check out the LMDB just so I can show you what you're looking for in terms of the system. So for the system to be updated, and remember any version of ERP can go to EHP 8 with Simple Finance 1605. So what you're looking for first is uh, your LMDB. I know it's a pain, but update your SLD content so that the LMDB infrastructure is green. And then inside I have a system here that's uh, called ECD. This system ECD is a system that is ERP6 Enhanced Pack 7. It does not have Simple Finance. It does not have anything. Uh, it is purely just an EHP7 system on HANA. Now, this system here, what you're looking for is green lights on the data supplier. If you don't have green lights on your data supplier, a couple things could be going on. Number one, your SLD content could be out of date. Number two, your SAP host agent could be out of date. Number three, your uh, SAP host agent is not registered to the SLD correctly. So you need to make sure that all of these data suppliers are 100% registering correct, specifically ABAP instance kernel. Uh, this has to be 100% correct in order for it to understand where you're at today and from a kernel level where to go forward. But in, in general, we want all of this data to be healthy. Um, we also want the verification check to be completed and we want this to be green as well. Once all of that is done, when you click on the technical system, you click on support portal and then upload SAP support portal data. Okay, so when you upload the SAP support portal, you're then gonna upload that data essentially to Maintenance Optimizer. Now the Maintenance uh, maintenance Planner, I'm sorry, I've already mis uh, misspoke. So Maintenance Planner is, is here where the, the data is uploaded. And when I click on my system ECD, had the data not been out of date, or if I had just uploaded to, SA, uh, uh, uploaded to SAP portal, again, in, this, uh, in the LMDB, click upload to SAP portal, I might need to hit the sync button. You can see it's green here because I've already synchronized and all the data is kosher. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plan the 1605 install. Uh, and again, folks, S4 Enterprise Management is different than S4 Financials. S4 Financials is currently released 1605. S4 Enterprise Management is currently released as 1511. Uh, and 1511 is the simplification of tables for all of ERP except HR. Whereas S4 Financials 1605 is the simplifications of finance only. So what we're doing here is we're in Maintenance Planner. I'm going to show you how to, uh, to plan an install of Enhanced Impact 8 on HANA with S4 Financials 1605. All right, so here you can see all the different components that I already have on this system. You can see that it's EHP 7. You can see I have GTS, some TDMS add-ons, MDGs installed. I also have the gateway on here as well. Uh, again, SAP gateway is recommended in a hub scenario where you have a standalone gateway. On this system, you know, we didn't have that infrastructure available, so we put the gateway on it so ER, uh, Fiori apps run directly on ERP. Uh, it's your choice uh, on how you do that. Now, First thing you might think is, well, I'm going to plan a conversion to S4, but you'll see that it only goes to 1511. You cannot use this functionality to plan a conversion to S4 Financial 1605. So what you first need to do is select Enhance Impact 8, select the May release, because again, 1605 of S4 Financials is May of 2016. So you need to make sure you have that selected.
Now, after selecting EHP-8, we then can go select a couple other items. So again, in my target, you can see here that it added uh, some 750 for the gateway. It added uh, a support package stack for TDMS. I'm gonna go ahead and patch that a little, little bit level higher. Also, I have Personas 3.0 SPL1, but I wanna get the Personas 3.0 SP03. So we're gonna install a couple add-ons uh, as part of this plan to, to move to S4 financials. All right, so as I said before, now that EHP8 is added to my basket, I can actually scroll down here and go to SAP slash S4 and see that 1605 is available to me. And I wanna select that again, that may release 516 uh, Central Applications Fin. So that's been added to my basket. And I've never had any luck selecting multiple add-ons at the same time. I've always had to select one add-on, click confirm, select another add-on, click confirm. Uh, I wish the process was better, but we'll, we'll live with it. Uh, I think everybody agrees, though, that this is better than maintenance optimizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get the TDMS out of my way uh, because I, I, I wanna patch that to the highest level. And again, we use TDMS here to refresh data between systems, so we're gonna go ahead and update those components. Now, um, I did have some problems uh, getting this to work initially because I actually had an ABOP add-on that needed to be removed. Uh, and that ABOP, ABOP add-on was right here, this IWSCS 200. So I don't know if everybody out there is gonna have this add-on installed, uh, but a long story short, it's essentially replaced by the gateway. And when I had this ABAP add-on installed on the ERP system, uh, I couldn't calculate a correct stack for, um, for EHP8 with S4 Finance. So uh, that was, uh, there were no errors. Uh, I just was researching notes and figuring out what did I have installed that's not compatible with NetWeaver 750. And in the end, I found this note, un uninstallation of IWS S S200. It is an uninstallable component. Uh, for those of you who haven't done that before, essentially you, you follow the note, yeah, I downloaded this uh, uh, attribute package, and then I was able to uninstall it. So we've selected TDMS. We're gonna go ahead and select the personas update as well now. And then this server is gonna continue to be our Fury front end server. Uh, so we're gonna have Fury apps running on the S4 financial system, uh, which is supported. Now SAP does recommend not doing this because if you have multiple backends or multiple suite components, uh, you can have one Fury server up front, Fury front end server, and it can access multiple backend systems. In our case, uh, again, this is a lab environment, so we're installing the hub system, uh, um, the embedded system essentially. So we're gonna go to SAP uh, personas. Oops. Screen Personas 3.0. Check the components, hit confirm. Okay, now we kind of have the, we're almost there. We're gonna go ahead and select uh, the front end server. Now here's where we're gonna to get to the good part, right? So Fiori, we need to install Fiori Smart Business, Fiori for Simple, simple uh, S4 Financial 1605, and the Analytic App apps as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and build that uh, now as well.
So here I'm going to go to SAP Fiori front end server. Right, that's kind of the new rebranding name of uh, the gateway. So I've got all these components here. Again, now that I have the, the, the front end server selected, I can select the Fiori analytical applications, which then will enable me to select Fiori for 1605. If I go down there now, let's, well, let's just, let's just check together here. I believe it, uh, S, S4, uh, S4 Fiori applications is not available for 1605. Right now, I have to uh, add a couple more add-ons. So if I go to SAP Fiori, so 1605 is, is available, so that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Select that May release again. And see, it's also making me select analytical services, but for whatever reason, it's not letting me check the support package level, just as initial. So I, you know, I don't trust it for whatever reason. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and come back up here to analytical apps, analytical services. And see, I don't want the initial, I wanted SPO1, right? So again, I don't know why Maintenance Planner wouldn't let me select uh, SP1, but it didn't, so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with this. So again, we're hitting Install and Maintain Add-on. You can see here S4 Finance is, is part of our calculated queue, which is great. Everything's looking good so far. Uh, we're just gonna add those Fiori components now and the smart business components. I should mention that this system is already, uh, is ERP is sweet on HANA. So this is EHP 7 on HANA. I'm a big advocate of, of sweet on HANA. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation about the value of, of having that and uh, there is tremendous value of having sweet on HANA if you're not ready for the transformational activities of, of S4 Finance or a, uh, S4 Enterprise Management. So now I've selected the Fiori apps hitting confirm. And then we got one more to go. We have the Smart business apps. So we're going on to SAP Smart Business for All right, now, so this stack that I've built is for a system running S4 Financial 1605. It has all of the Fiori content and it has the Personas content that I need because again, Personas uh, it works well with S4. In fact, there's many S4 templates in, in Personas. So this is everything I need. This is going to Enhance Impact 8. This is uh, installing Simple Finance, uh, S4 1605. Uh, upgrading my TDMS components and uh, upgrading all of my gateway components, including the smart business and Fiori apps for S4-1605. Now on the next screen, we can see that I have uh, the ability to select my kernels, which is great. Um, 
So I'm going to select my HANA kernel, my host agent, my software update manager because those are things that I need in order to do an appropriate update. Now, if you're Z series or power, you actually have a different software update manager. So I don't know if anybody out there is using Z series or power processors, uh, but you actually have a, a HANA specific sum for those two platforms. Whereas for us, we're HANA on Intel. So we're using the regular software update manager, which is SP17 uh, um, fix pack one, I believe. So from here, I believe everybody already knows the drill. You know, you add the download files to your download basket, you download the XML. We don't need to go over that. What we do need to go over is that for Enhanced Impact 8, we've noticed that when moving to Enhanced Impact 8, there is actually uh, multiple things not added to your download basket that you will need as part of Software Update Manager. And that's what we're gonna show next. So while that calculates, let's just go ahead and show the software update manager. All right, so software update manager here, um, what you can see is here, I'm still in the execution phase, and then I was prompted for uh, DVDs for BS 2016 SP01 mid. Uh, so this for me was new, I didn't know what that meant. So uh, again, there was uh, an SAP note that basically said, you need to go download the upgrade kernel DVDs, those upgrade kernel DVDs uh, were downloaded here. Um, and unfortunately, there is 24 gig of upgrade export DVDs. Uh, that's 24 gig that is not added to your download basket like we would prefer. All right, so it's still calculating here and we'll show that. So uh, do be prepared for that. You can see that I have download manager running, downloading uh, 24 gig of media in addition to uh, the 10 gig of media that was already added to my download basket. So it's it's definitely getting to the point now when you're working with SAP systems, you need at least 50 to 75 gig of storage just for media in order to run an upgrade. That doesn't count the 50 to 100 gig needed for some uh, and all the duplicate kernels, etc. So again, down here, you see Fiori uh, for SFIN 1605. You see Smart S4 Finance 1605 personas and Smart Business for 1605. Everything looks great. I could validate my packages if you want. Now the most important thing about uh, 16 of S Simple Finance is you'll notice the update to SFIN 730. Okay, so that is what makes uh, that that is what makes Simple Finance or S4 HANA Finance. So SAP FIN, you can see here it's upgrading all the way to SFIN 730. Right, uh, if you're looking at an ERP system that's enhanced by seven or eight, you'll notice that SFIN is 617 or 618. Uh, this is actually going all the way to 7.30. That is S4 Financials. So remember, S4 HANA is our ABAP add-ons on, on an ERP system. Uh, so that's important to remember. Click Next, and off we go. So these are all the files here, and you'll notice that none of the DVDs that I, that, that, that I was requested to add as part of Software Update Manager are there. So you do need to go out, and you do need to go to uh, Software Download Center and download those EHP Upgrade Export DVDs from the installation side of Software Downloads. I hope this was beneficial for everybody. I know it, for me, it took me a couple days to kind of get everything figured out, get my download basket working. Uh, I had that old gateway component that needed to be removed first, uh, which, which enabled me to move forward with EHP 8 uh, and S4-1605. Please post questions uh, on uh, here on the video thread if you have any. And we'll